Hey everyone, what's up? It's everyone's favorite person. Okay, I'm not everyone's favorite person. I don't know why I say that. Hey everyone, I it's JV, the person that you guys know and hopefully like because I smile a lot and I do interesting things maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so hi. Um I'm here today to do an unboxing video. Um, a super special unbox unboxing video. Um, this uh, this is really honestly. I, I was talking to um, I was talking to someone earlier today, and this is something that I was really looking forward to. Um, I've been looking forward to it for a while. Um, it's like currently today a super rainy day. Uh, it is swelteringly hot, but it has been downpouring and thunderstorming like the entire day, which is to say the least, irritating. Um, actually, it's extremely irritating. Um, I also should, before I move forward, apologize for any audio that sounds a little wonky. Um, the video for this, because I'm recording this as a video, but I do plan on releasing this on the podcast feed. So, yeah. Um, I apologize if the audio is not super great. My camera is as close to my face as it can be at the moment um, without it being too close. Um, and also having it be on a surface wherein it won't fall, hopefully, as I adjust it slowly. Um, <laughs> and uh, I also have a fan going because, like I just said, it is swelteringly hot and I absolutely can't. Um, the video quality is not super awesome either because I'm on the webcam of a Chromebook and not like a, a, a Mac or whatever. So yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. Hopefully this is okay. Um, hopefully you can see me in general all right and everything will be fine. Or hopefully you can hear me okay. Like really, those are the things that I'm hoping that happen now. Okay, awesome. So this is a video that is... Um, that I know a couple of you have been waiting for for a while. Um, this is the Rumi box. So the, um, the lovely, 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 wonderful lady, Vanessa York, all the way out there in the good old UK, um, made me this wonderful box, um, which has in it a bunch of sweets and things um, from across the pond, which I have to say, this is going to be so exciting. I've never actually, I'm sure most of these are things that I've either never heard of or never had. Um, and I'm just really excited to try them. Uh, and this is, this is really like, this is like a really sweet gift. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. I've had a really weird day today. Um, just in general, it's currently like what, 530 for me. Um, it's a little, I don't know. My day's been going like kind of weird, but this really does uh, does cheer me up quite a bit. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Vanessa. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it so, so much. Um, and now, without further ado, let's see what's in here. Also, there's going to be a little bit of an obligatory taste test for some of these while this is happening. Uh, so we will see how that goes. I have water over there on the off chance things get wonky, but we'll see. I think this should be quite interesting. So I took the liberty of opening up the side of the box already. Um, <laughs> and to prove that I am far from classy, the thing that I used to open it was my wine bottle opener because I can't find scissors. Yes, I'm a crafter who can't find any of his scissors at all. Anywhere. Yay! Delightful. Um, anyway, let us proceed. Oh, there's a letter, too. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. So, because my parents raised me right, I'm going to open this letter and I'm going to read this first. Because, of course, whoop, 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 whoop. it says 2JV on the front of it. Ooh, girl, and it's pretty, too. I like it. I'm already pleased. Aha. All right. Woohoo. So, that's the card front there. It's all shimmery and pretty. I love it. Butterflies are actually a really important thing for me and my family. Um, lots of transformation and things happening, so I like the cover of this already. It also brings um, brings a bit of spring to here, even though it's June and like spring should have already happened. Um, spring is currently what is happening outside. I'm presuming that's what this 
weird, crazy storm is uh, since we had like winter until like a month ago. So, mm. but in any case, this is really very pretty. So, yay. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. I love it. So, Merry Christ. <laughs> I, it, I don't know why that took me a minute to, like, remember what that was, but... So it says, Merry Christ up here, um, which if you... Well, okay. So I should mention that um, where I know Vanessa from is from the Karen and Ellen letters um, and my interview with Josh and then also, like, various podcast-related things. And I also should say that Vanessa is one of my Patreon supporters, and that is... Another yet another reason why she is one of the most amazing people that I know. So, yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll just read this next part here. Hey JV, I hope everything arrives with you in one piece and that you enjoy. Thanks for a great podcast. Love from Vanessa. Yay! Thank you, and thank you for saying that I that I have a good podcast. I appreciate that because sometimes. Sometimes I question the quality of my show, but I th I'm glad that you enjoy it. I really appreciate that. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, my. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay. So we have walkers, um, which look to be potato chips. Potato chips. Aha, yes, they are... <laughs> Yes, yes, they are. They are good old potato chips. I don't know why I just picked that accent, but that was a little, um, probably a little racist, actually. I probably should have done that, but anyway. Um, so these are made with 100% British potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why the idea of a British potato just makes me giggle. It, like, that shouldn't make me giggle, but it does. Um, anyway, so this flavor in particular is prawn cocktail, which is really interesting. Um... It appears that it also doesn't actually contain prawns, which I have to say is wonderful because technically I would be allergic to that. So that's uh, that's good. But I think this the seasoning um, it would list. I'm sure if it had that, um, it yeah, it's so suitable for vegetarians. Which being prawns, it, yeah. So that's great. Yay! So this will be super interesting to try. I look forward to it. This isn't the one I'm going to test right now. I'll get to them. I'm just not going to get to them yet. I'm excited, though. These look, these look really good. And... Ooh, girl. Oh, I already know I'm going to love these, even though I've never had them before. So these are jammy dodges. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to occasionally put on the accent that I'm not good at this whole time. Um, so jammy dodges in raspberry flavor. Uh, super great. Super duper great. Um, I love, I love biscuits, um, also known as cookies here. Um, but this is in particular one of my favorite kinds. There's, um, a sort of American version of this that I don't remember the name of, but I know, I, I know I've had before, um, that look a lot like this, that have a sort of raspberry flavoring in the center, uh, that you can see because you can, like, look in between it, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've had these before. Or not these specifically, but something similar. Um, and I knew I liked those, so I know I'm going to like these too. This is going to be super great. Thank you so much. There are eight biscuits in there. Eight cookies for the American people. All right. So, Jacob's Mini Cheddars are what these are. Um, and... What I I can't tell what these are. So these are one of those ones that I'm going to open up and taste them. Um, because despite the fact that I'm pretty sure I... I feel like these are most likely like Cheez-Its. Or... Are those Cheez-Its? I'm not... Like, I just forgot what that... What the... I'm sure I'm going to like open this, see them, and be like, Ah, Cheez-Its. Or something like that. Um, if that is in fact the... The you know, relevant comparison. Oh, it is not at all cheese it shaped. It is circle shaped like that, which is kind of cute. Hmm. Oh, I like them. They're tasty. Oh no. Oh, oop. I just dropped. <laughs> I just dropped one like down my shirt because of course I did. 
<laughs> anyway, those are delicious. That's wonderful. I like these, and I'm going to eat them tonight. <laughs> um, oh, man. I'm, like, seeing things in here that I'm like, oh, this is going to be very interesting. Ooh, a Cadbury Double Decker. That's real fun. Okay, so Cadbury Double Decker. Uh, I'm presuming that this... Well, it's from Cadbury. It was cool. The ones that make the eggs. You know, the Cadbury eggs. Very clever. I like those. Those are delicious. Um, this, I am not 100% sure what it is. But what it seems like to me is an interesting cross between a... Um, a Cadbury egg and a tri and a Trix bar. Um, I'm not sure. I will taste this later, and I will let you guys know in an additional thing if I enjoyed it, which I'm sure I will. Like honestly, I keep saying if I enjoyed. I'm like, no, I'm going to enjoy these. I know that already. Super exciting. This is a really interesting one. This is one I am almost certain we don't have in like a a version of here in the states. So this is a a uh, giant Parma violet. Um, so delicately perfumed violet sweets. I don't know what that means. And I'm so excited. Again, one of those things I'm just going to have to taste immediately. Oh, so the wrapper is clear. Okay, that's interesting. I'm like, I'm like trying to delicately peel this on the off chance I like. I like have to eat one and finish them like later and don't want anything crazy to happen to it. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So they look a little bit like um, like tiny round Pez things. Mmm. Oh my God, they smell delicious and they taste really good. Oh my God, I like these. <laughs> I'm going to say something that's gonna sound a little weird. Um, they taste like purple. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but they taste like purple. Make of that what you will. They taste like purple. I don't know what that means, but this is delicious. Thank you for this specifically. I like these a lot. Mm. I think the only downside to like having this is that I won't. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Allow me to finish that sentence. I think the only downside to like having these now and trying them now is that I will, is that I don't, um, is that like, I don't have access to them out here and I will, that makes me a little sad, but, uh, ooh. Oh my. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> um, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm saying oh dear because I know already that this one is one that, um, that I've seen some reaction videos to, um, and, uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm nervous about this one. I really genuinely am. But this is the one that specifically Vanessa said she wanted me to try on camera slash microphone. So this is a tiny little heart-shaped Marmite thing. And oh dear. Um, <laughs> I almost want to like save this part for the end. But like, I guess I'll just do this now. And I'm moving my water closer to me because I'm like... Oh dear, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I didn't do prior research to figure out. Um, I didn't do prior research to figure out. Like, oh, oh god, oh, this looks. I... That smell, though, <laughs> I don't understand this at all. But it has a smell, and it's brown, and I don't know how I feel about any of this. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm genuinely, actually, deeply nervous about this right now. My God. Um, so, I can already tell you I'm not going to enjoy this. The smell of this is insane. Um, so, I'm really just opening this water bottle right now because, homegirl... I don't, oh my god, this is going to be intense. And I'm literally just going to put a small amount on my, like, pinky and see. Let's go, oh god, it's sticky. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> okay, be brave. Be brave, princess, be brave. Oh. 
Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So, um... Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not a fan of that one. Um... <laughs> I will, f I will fully, freely admit that that was not a hit. I, I was not a fan of that one. That one, uh, mm -mm. nope, nope, that's, um, but if anyone wants to know what that tasted like to me, what that tasted like was like a syrupy version of soy sauce that, that someone attempted to turn into teriyaki sauce and failed because they added baking soda instead of sugar. That's what that tasted like to me. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with that and put it somewhere on a thing. I, I have no idea. Um, but that was, that was gnarly. That was gnarly. Thank you for that. That was really quite insane. And, um, Wow, I just, I just ate that. That's really, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, I've seen videos of people trying that for the first time, and I'm sincerely questioning any video that I've ever seen where a person has tried it and been like, that's wonderful. Like, what did, someone gonna have to tell me what that's for, like, what people put that in, like, I... I don't know. I don't know what a person would do with this. Um, also, not that anyone on the podcast is going to know about this or care, but anyone watching this video might have a question as to why I'm wearing what I'm wearing right now. I went for a workout today, which is why I feel entirely comfortable with actually eating literally any of these. Um, I will be eating my entire workout like, I'll be eating off my entire workout, basically, by eating some of these. Sure, I guess. Um, but anyway, so this is Candyland Refreshes, Natural Colors and Flavors, Classic Recipe. All right. Hard Tablet Formed Fruit Flavor Fizzy Sweets. Hard Tablet Formed Fruit Flavor Fizzy Sweets. Interesting. This sounds like a science project, and I'm kind of excited. So, let's see here. This is, again, one of the... Like, the smaller ones that are, like, multi-piece ones, I'm going to try some of them now. Um, we'll see how it goes. This one is a sort of um, pinkish color that I would imagine, in America, this would normally be a strawberry. Um, or... <laughs> This would normally be a strawberry. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to actually be a strawberry, but it seems strawberry-ish. It's a pinkish color. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 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 That's not... Um, that's not strawberry. It's sort of an indistinct fruit flavor, um, but not, not a strawberry, but... Nice. I like this. Mm-hmm. Ah, formerly the Barat Company. Um, whatever that actually means. Um, but, yeah, cool. I like that one. Thank you again. Oh. Aha. So, in case anyone was wondering, that was an update, uh, a Gmail update, notifying me that someone on Twitter likes something. Um, the people that like something on that Twitter page was... My good old friends from Wine and Crime. That was Lucy just now, liking a thing. Super cool. Um, all right, so... All right, so dropping that accent and moving forward, because, again, the reason I'm not good at accents, I think, is because I, I have never fully learned the rules of certain accents, if that makes sense. Um, so there are certain sounds that I forget to replace or that I just sort of sub out for other ones, and it just sort of sounds indistinctly from some country colonized by Europe at some point. Anyway, <laughs> colonization. I can't seem to get through one of these things without talking about colonization at some point. Yikes. Um, all right, so this is a... 
Oh, I probably should have like said what these are. These are round trees, fruit pastels, or fruit pastels, if you will. Um, and round trees, if I recall correctly, round trees is that's a specific like store, right? Like that's a sort of like I don't know. I'll ask this of Vanessa later, but I'm pretty sure this is a specific type of like store um, that, like a chain store that's sort of throughout the lovely place, uh, the lovely UK. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway. <laughs> this one has a really cute thing on the package, and I kind of love it. Also, this to me um, is one of the epitomes of British humor. Um, it says, Bagels are donuts that take themselves too seriously, um, which I <laughs> which I appreciate. Appreciate a lot. I'm going to try this one. This one looks to be, again, another one that looks to be a strawberry flavor, but I'm most likely going to be wrong about that. Uh, maybe it's a... Oh, yikes. Oh, no. I dropped things. I will go and find them. Anyway, but it appears to be a strawberry thing. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, this time I was not wrong. It is strawberry, for sure. And I like this a lot. I've got like a, a sugar-crusted outside and a squishy bit in the middle. I like. <laughs> Delicious. Man, there's a lot of candy in here. Ooh, I like it. Oh, my God. Ooh, yes. You told me about this one ahead of time. And I'm literally going to eat all of these. Um... <laughs> Like, not right now, but, like, I'm going to eat a lot of them um, in a very short amount of time. So this is um the Maynard, Maynard's Bassettes Wine Gums. This sounds like it's going to be wonderful. I'm excited. I have recently decided... Oh, actually, fun little story for y'all. I discovered the other day that I actually like Pinot Grigio. Um, I did not know that. I also, the other day, found I could actually tolerate drinking a full glass of Merlot. Um, just realized that those are things that I can do now. So I'm growing up. Growing up! Yeah! Um, this one is a, almost the color of the Pinot Grigio that I had, actually. So it's a nice little yellow. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm going to have all of those. I'm actually like literally setting these down like directly next to me. I'm like, I will eat those in five minutes. Like for, for real. Oh, nice. Okay. So here we have the McVitie's Digestives, which are McVitie's Digestive Digestives nibbles dark chocolate milk and dark chocolate coated biscuit balls so fun thing about these we have like i think the the alternate well not the alternative i think the like american version of these would be maybe milk duds um but it looks like these were probably made with a better chocolate uh than what we usually use here which is pretty cool um but actually, funny enough, there's another thing that I got. Um, I was in New York City the other day, and I um, went to an event at which uh, there were there were uh, they were giving away candies that, to me, look European, um, and um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Hang on, I will actually read on this container if they are or aren't. Um, oh shit, these are a product of Australia, so that's fun. These are. Malt Maltesers, um, Malteser, Maltesers, Maltesers, not sure, but these look to be very, very similar to these. Um, it seems to be the kind, a kind of candy that carries, that like holds itself and carries itself around the world, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's cool that that's a kind of, um, that that's a thing that, you know, travels around the world. I kind of like that. There's like a, I'm sure there's a thing there that I could probably like make a nice statement about um ooh okay so this is interesting so these appear to be licorice um okay so maynard bassettes or maynard Bassett, maynard Bassett, maynard's Bassett. i think the s is silent at the end of um 
at the end of Maynard. So Maynard besets licorice, all sorts, um, made with natural flavors and colors. Um, apparently I could win a flight to New Zealand. Would you look at that? That's pretty fun. Um, but these, uh, these I'm imagining are licorice candies, um, which I'm, ima I'm assuming that we don't have, um, that we don't have them in this specific form. Something about this packaging feels really interesting. There's a little, like, dude on it that's really quite interesting to look at. So I'm going to open these. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, snap. Are you supposed to... Oh, ooh, these smell kind of interesting. Um, I realize that licorice, like, usually smells interesting. But um, what are you supposed to, like, have these and, like, put a dude together? Like, is that what's supposed to happen? Am I supposed to construct a human dude out of this? <laughs> Am I supposed to appease my lonely soul by constructing a dude out of licorice? Um, because I'm desperate at this point, and I will. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not that desperate. But um, this seems cool. Thank you. I will definitely look forward to trying those. I'm now going to have to start putting things back in the box instead of on my legs, because I won't be able to move soon. Um all right, so this one, um, on the healthier end of things, apparently. Uh, so this is a go-ahead, the Yogurt Breaks. Uh, Fab Forest Fruit is the flavor I'm imagining of these ones. Um, so this one definitely has berry, um, sultana, and berry-flavored filling. I don't... Okay. A delicious yogurt... Excuse me. Delicious yogurt flavored topping on a delightful or er, wow, I can't read today. I'm so sorry. Delicious yogurt flavor topping on a light crispy biscuit with a sultana and berry flavored filling. That's interesting. I don't know what a sultana is. So that's new. Um I look forward to having this. I might save this actually for um for tomorrow when I'm at work. Um, this, is the, this seems like the right kind of size for like just a little like work treat. So I will also, by the way, point out that I'm sweating buckets right now because my room, I shut off the main fan, but I did leave on the rest of it. So that's a lot. But anyway, um, so, but yeah, I look forward to trying that. That's super great. Oh, this is so cute. I like this one. It's so cute. So this one is the Dairy Milk Buttons, also from Cadbury. Um, and on the box of it, there is a panda. And I like pandas. I like pandas, actually. So fun fact. Um, so looking for uh, looking for advertisers for my podcast. Um, but one of the things that I did recently was I bought the, um, bought the like, panda like the panda themed me undies, um, which I love. I am not going to post a picture of those anywhere, but I do love, actually, you know what though? Here's the thing. If me undies does in fact start sponsoring my podcast or even a YouTube channel, perhaps, um, if me undies gives me a sponsorship, then perhaps I might consider, you know, modeling a few of these things. So or I could just make this a Patreon exclusive thing. So, um, actually, yeah, for now, that'll be what ha what'll happen. I will um, show you guys the lovely Meundies that I have, which honestly, they're really cute. That's the only reason I would actually be showing them to anybody is because they're cute and I love them and they're so comfort comfortable. So, um, I'll post those on my on my Patreon page um, along with the other you know, podcast extras that you haven't seen yet, uh, that you definitely should. So go over there if you haven't yet already. All right. So cool. And yeah. oh my, these, oh, this is interesting. So these are Jaffa cakes, Jaffa cakes, Hoffa cakes, are they Hoffa cakes? Oh, Hoffa Cakes sounds kind of funny, so I kind of just want to call them that. Hoffa Cakes, uh, they look like this. They're from the McVitie's Company. Um, and these are the minis. Um, let's see here. So, reading this, uh, six 
mini light sponge cakes with dark crackly chocolate and a smashing orangey center. That sounds interesting. This reminds me... Well, I'm going to look at the shapes on these ones. Oh, okay. They're just like tiny little... Okay, they're tiny little cookies. That's cute. Look at that. Tiny little tiny little biscuit cookie cakes things. Um, all right, cool. And they have just a nice little center. Ooh, I can already tell that that center is there because I'm like pressing on it and it's a little squishy. Oh. Ooh, girl, that is smashing. Damn. Yes, honey. Oh, I like these. Okay. Mm. I'm about to make myself so fat right now, by the way. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so that actually completes the box here. Um, so I am so very pleased with everything except the Marmite. Um, <laughs> literally, all of this, with the exception of the Marmite, is wonderful. Um, I'm super excited to try all the rest of these. Um and by try, I mean, like, actually open them up and eat some of them, because I haven't done that yet. Also, fun thing, I haven't really eaten that much today anyway, so I'm excited to chow down on these and make these part of my dinner tonight. Uh, so, awesome. Um, so, again, thank you so much, Vanessa, for sending this. Um, I really appreciate it. And much love to literally all of the UK. Um, you guys are going through an intensely rough time right now. And I, and that makes me, that makes me, I feel for you guys. It's, there's a lot happening there. Um, it's a lot of awful things. And I, I wish there was some way that I could help. Um, and I don't know what I personally can do other than, um, when I'm on Twitter, for example, retweeting um, locations of things, um, like locations of safe houses and things, um, like during the bombing when that was, when or bombing? Yeah, during the bomb that went off at that concert um, in Manchester. Um, I, I just hope, um, I just hope you guys keep your spirits up because I, I just, I try to, f I try to believe that good things are going to happen. Um, that not everything in the world is awful. Um, so just try to keep your spirits up. Um, know that you guys are loved by honestly, the rest of us, we do love you guys. Um, even if, even if we are out here in the U S um, kind of, um, a little bit of shitheads out here. Um, we do love you guys a lot and we do think about you guys a lot. And we, I know that me and most likely the rest of the rest of this country um, really want to be of support to you guys. So um, if you guys need anything, let us know. We're here. Um, we're here for you guys. And thank you again, Vanessa, for this box. And oh, this is wonderful. And I'm about to eat so, so much right now. I'm so excited. Um, all right. Thank you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.